Hello. Today we're going to discuss Azure Virtual Network Peering. So what is peering? Basically, if you come from the on-premise world, if you have an Office A and Office B, what we usually do is to let machines or VMs here contact or communicate with machines here, we do a side-to-side -side VPN between firewalls. So it's really the same idea. We have a virtual network, which is Office A, and virtual network B, which is Office B, and we're creating a connection between them. So if I have VMs or any resources in this virtual network or office that want to communicate between to, to the other office in, in, in this virtual network, I create a peering between them. Now, one thing to keep in mind, just like on-premise, the uh, address spaces cannot overlap. So you cannot have 10.0.0.16 here and peer with 10.0.0.0.16 here. So it has to be different. So let's see how it's done in Azure. So I already have my two virtual networks created. If you need help creating a virtual network in subnets, please watch my other video that talks about it. I'll leave it in the description below. So here, I'm going to go search for virtual networks, and I already have it here. This is my first virtual network. And as you can see, this is the address space 172.16.10.0.0. That's the uh, DNS server. Uh, this is the address space. So it's, uh, oh, this one is the 10.0.0.0.16. So if I scroll down here to peering, and I click peering, I can start by adding the peering. Click add. Now we want to call it a name. So I'm going to call it APIM2. And then you can call, you can uh, put in the uh, name of the other virtual network. So I'm going to say Office B. Traffic to remote virtual network. Are we allowing or blocking? Of course, we're allowing. That's what, what we're trying to do. Traffic forwarded from remote virtual network. Are we allowing traffic back in? Yes. That's what we're trying to do is to have two virtual networks communicate with each other. We are not using a virtual network gateway. Usually, if you have an on-premise uh, office and you want to connect it as well to these uh, to the peering, so the office would be able to uh, to communicate with virtual network A and B. You would use it, but it's not part of this lab that we're doing. Now the remote virtual network peering link name, what are we gonna call it on the other side? So here we called it APIM to Office B. We're gonna call this one Office B to APIM what we call it? APIM. All right, so from here, APIM to Office B, it's going to create on the other virtual network a connection automatically, and it's going to call it something. So that's what's going to call it. So when we go to that first virtual network and we look at the peering, we're going to know it's going to office, from Office B to this, this virtual network, APIM. All right, of course, Resource Manager Classic is deprecating, and it's no longer to be used. Uh, this is your subscription. Now you're going to choose the other virtual network. In my case, here it is. This is Office B. Now, on the other side, do you want to allow traffic the same idea as above? And do you want to allow traffic from and to? And where are we going to use? Are we using a, a network gateway? And we're not. It's the same idea just like above. And I'm going to click Add. And it's creating it right now. I'm going to pause until it updates. So it took about five minutes. And now, as you can see, it says connected. And if I go to the other virtual, so this is the first virtual network. And if I go to the other virtual network, which is this one, and I scroll down to pairing. As you can see now, there's connectivity allowed. 
So how can we test that? So here I am on a virtual machine. And if I say IP config, as you can see, my IP address is 172.16.10.5, which is the first virtual network. Now I have another machine in the other virtual network with an address of 10.0.0.4. Remember, we had two, two virtual networks. And I say, if I try to RDP, as you can see, I'm getting the pop-up. So communication now between them is working. So that's it. This way, we basically created the network peering or the side-to-side -side in the uh, on-premise world. And now we can communicate uh, however we want. If we want to control traffic, we can actually do it with uh, the network security groups. If you need uh, help with network security groups, you can also watch my other video that explains it in detail. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the uh, uh, description section. Well, thank you for watching. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. And see you in the next video.